Find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back. So uh, today I wanted to show you this Kabuto Focus. It's a follow focus kind of device, which allows you to get easier focus. And uh, this is currently on Indiegogo. It's uh, made by a guy called Shongda, who is a YouTuber. And I've actually been subscribed to his YouTube for a really long time. I think maybe even since before I was making YouTube videos. And so he's designed this uh, sort of lever photo focus. And uh, it has um, a unique feature. Well, I think it's unique, uh, which is a... Um, sort of marking disc, it comes with two, one which is a clear one, which is very nice because uh, you've got this little marker there and both pieces are clear and it just makes it easy for, you know, whatever configuration you want to use, you can still sort of see through everything to the other side and uh, obviously, you know, you're looking this way, but um, yeah, it's, you know, it's nice and uh, it comes with another one, the same size, which is uh, black and white. Uh, and so uh, this, uh, he sent me this, it's uh, one of the early units, but as far as I know, this is exactly how they're going to be sent out. And so he, uh, he asked me to do a review on this. And so uh, here it is. There's actually only, uh, I think, 16 days left on the Indiegogo campaign uh, at the time that I'm filming this. So if you want to, if you want to go and check that out, you can see the link down below. And uh, okay, so it's a device that works pretty well. It's made, you know, nicely. It's uh, just sort of uh, looks like it's cut using, uh, I, I guess, laser cutting or something like that uh, from uh, a piece of uh, some sort of plastic or acrylic. And, you know, it feels nice and strong and, you know, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's got, I mean, the corners, they're, so, they're not, I don't know if they're sharp, but they're just sort of pointy. But I don't think that's something that would scratch you or scratch anything. Uh, they're just sort of square, square shaped. And, um, yeah, and I mean, it's, it's a very simple design, but it's a very low cost, uh, item. I think it's, uh, 20 euros with the, uh, little system that holds these things and, and, and the markers, the, the marker discs, and, uh, I think 15 euros without them. So, um, yeah, you know, pretty, pretty cheap and, uh, yeah, pretty nice and, and, and it works. And uh, so it does hold onto the lens really, really well. What I've done is I've put my um, 50 millimeter Nikon 1.2, which has a um, a really big amount of drag in the focus ring. And, uh, you know, more than most lenses. And it, I think it might just be my unit that just needs oiling or something. But uh, I put that on so that you can see that even with a lens with a really, really heavy focus ring, uh, I mean, this, uh, I mean, I, I do really need to send this in for, um, an oil change. So even with that, it does hold on pretty well. And uh, as you can see, uh, with, with a, a setup like this, it does have a tiny bit of a sort of, it's it's able to, to sort of, I'm gonna exaggerate now, but it's able to sort of tilt a little bit, uh, but uh, you know, a very small amount before it moves. Uh, I hope you can see that the amount of, I mean, may, maybe not even before it moves, but just sort of as it moves, it sort of has a little bit of wiggle to it. But that is with with a lens that is very, um, you know, that has a very heavy focus ring, uh, or very quite a, a a thick fluid or, or sort of a tight focus ring, and so um, yeah, so that is I think that's good that it, that it's able to hold on that well, and the the rubber bands hold on really really well, and and I mean they grip really nicely onto the uh, lens. And uh, it's very lightweight, which means that with lenses that have sort of electronic focus rings, like, like this one, for example, from Sony, then uh, it won't move the ring from the weight of it. And uh, I mean, I think with most, with most, follow with most uh, lenses, that should be fine. And the weight of this shouldn't be, in be enough to actually move it on its own, uh, you know, just from gravity. Uh, which which can be an issue with uh, you know if you if you would put a heavy thing up here if this was made of metal or something, and so uh, yeah and so uh, this works nicely with um, with the setups I've tried it with I've tried it with uh, an electronic focusing lens which you know has motors to move the focus, um, so even though it's a manual ring that moves it with um, with the the focus itself moves moves with motors. And, uh, and with one like this, which is actually fully uh, manual or uh, fully mechanical. So, um, okay, so let's do a little test with this. 
show you how that works. And uh, I'm sorry if you can't see the screen perfectly. And uh, I mean, what I'll do is I'll I'll press record on here, which is over there. And uh, okay. So um, it's you know nice and easy to focus. And uh, as you can see, I'm not marking this. I'm just sort of following the what I'm seeing on screen. And that's the way that I would work with any follow focus. I, I just don't, I personally, I know that some people do mark. Um, I, I'm, I think a lot of people do use, use markings, but I don't. It's just the way that I like to do it. So um, this obviously will just depend on how you focus and what you do with it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's working well. I can focus and yeah, it's nice. So, um, I, I kind of like this. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I, uh, don't have any complaints about this. I mean, it's, um, oops, let me turn that off. It's nice and it works and yeah, so, uh, He's going to be give, uh, doing a giveaway, and uh, so he's going to be giving away uh, three of these. And so if you want to, you know, enter that giveaway, then uh, you, you can find the links down below. And uh, yeah, so overall, I like this. And uh, yeah, if you want to support it on Indiegogo, then you'll find a link to that down below as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.